Howdy, fellas. Well, guess what? I've been flooded with questions about the mice and trannies. Well, I figured I'd take a couple minutes and talk about it. If you're new to this channel, we have, I think we're cresting 40 units now. Total experience as far as 40 different units with a combo with a Cummins with an ice in, in our fleet, plus all the customers that we get to see and service. So, what's the deal? <laughs> it must be one of those, uh, when, whenever that guy cracked this frame, I, I got I got quite a few people asking me, Paul, did you ever crack a frame on one of your trucks? No, I did not crack any frames. Something must be somewhere about this ice and tranny going to crap, so that's what, that's what I feel. That's why I've been getting swamped with uh, questions about ice and so here we go my uh journey with ison and cummins goes way back from 2014 not that long ago but when you combine all the miles or millions of miles because most of these trucks are long haul uh hot shotting rigs so all they do is tow so i'll talk about two separate things i'll talk about my experience and a knucklehead <laughs> he's a youtube superstar but this knucklehead Oh man, he was running a 150 horse tune hot shotting with an ice and tranny. And at 300,000, you know, I got the engine in a crate in my shop. I should, I, should show that, I should share that story with you guys. I'll show you the engine. I don't forget in the comment section. Let me know if you guys want to know about that story. But anyway, so he created a huge leak in his engine. He created the leak in his engine um, and lost all the oil and put a rod through the block. And me and Mark, the, at the time we were running the shop, we looked at each other we were like, if an ice and transmission could go through the hill that this individual put it through, hot shotting with 150 tune, um, it, it was a hot rotting tune. It, it was a big fat no no in a hot shotting truck, but he did. He was adamant about it. I'm like, dude, you need this address. You need this address. Zero rips given. And, anyways, so he put the rod through the block and that tranny lasted till right about 500,000 and then he had some kind of solenoid go out on it he fixed that and then he had another issue but I never followed up on that other issue guys that alone has made me a believer in icing okay rewind the tape when I was buying my truck I knew icing was better than Chrysler but you know I had my fingers crossed for 300k a tranny's a tranny. An automatic transmission is an automatic transmission. It's a slush box. They wear out. There's clutches. It's going to wear out, right? So I had my fingers crossed for uh, 300,000 miles. You know, I was just telling my Mark, I'm you know, like, dude, if these things need 300,000 towing, I'll be happy. Guys, my trucks do 500,000 like clockwork. Well, 550. It seems like 550 is the number, but cut it short. 500, right? Like clock worked, and then second gear, clutches give out. They wear out. Uh, I've had one tranny fail on a 15, and that driver was hot rotting the livings out of it. Um, anyways, that one was 100% self inflicted. Then we had two trucks that had a rough time going into fourth. So you're climbing a hill in fifth gear and you need to downshift to fourth, it bangs hard. Both of them, well, I shouldn't say it bangs hard, but it, it, it jolts you, right? When you're heavy on the throttle. Now, if you get used to the truck, you back it off, uh, it's fine. But under decent throttle, right? You're trying to climb a hill, you got a lot of load on that engine. The engine down, or the tranny downshifts from fifth to fourth, that's when it'll jolt the truck. It wasn't like horrifying, it wasn't scary, but it wasn't right from brand new both trucks did it one was a 17 well heck both of them were 17s now that i think about it O two 2 and uh truck 7 O two 2 and 7 both were 1000 you know they're produced a model year of uh 2017 so besides those three issues that i spoke about one got destruct destroyed by a driver and two those two never failed one got sold at i think 330 or 350 and the other one got misdiagnosed and we had a tranny laying around it got flipped you know swapped out 
I don't want to get into details of that one. I was not happy when I found out my shop did that. Later on, I had that tranny thrown in another truck. And that tranny is still in service to today's day. Let that sink in. So, this is the reason why I'm so sold on the Ison and the Cummins setup. The Ison is a standalone unit. It tells that engine what to do, when to do. And it, it, it will not let the engine run over the transmission. And that is the longevity. That's one of the main keys here. Uh, the Japanese Ison is... Ison is not very commonly... Well, it's not like very commonly known. It's, it's a big company. They make a lot of electronics as well. But it's a Japanese company and it's half owned by Toyota. So, Ison is Toyota. Keep it simple, guys. Um, they have good product. You know, triple disc, torque converter, all that. They build a good tranny and they tune. You know what I mean? They, they make that engine obliged by its tune. So, hopefully... This answers all your questions. No, no, it doesn't mean you can't ask me a question about Ison, but I figured I'd do one video and answer the best of my ability of why and where I'm coming from with all this. With a million miles, I've never had the issue. And recently it was any of your fifth gens, guys. No, none of my fifth gens ever had issues. Or that would have, I guess it's carbon fiber, it doesn't count. But anyways, knock on whatever you believe in. None. Of my 5th gens, ever had transmission problems. One 5th gen blew an engine at 64,000. Uh, what I mean it blew, we we caught it before it catastrophically grenaded. Let's just leave it at that. Um, that's it. That's as far as 5th gens go. Am I happy specifically with the 22s? No, but that's a topic for another time. As far as Isons, that's it, guys. Driver destroyed a 15. Yeah, I think it was a 2015 Ison. At 360,000 miles. I mean, that was self inflicted. That was operator error. And those 217s, the something about fourth year in 2017, they had that issue under heavier throttle. That's it. Hopefully, this answered all your questions. But if I didn't answer something about that ISO, please shoot in the comment section and let me know what y'all think. Um, what you'd like to hear. That's, what, that's why I make these videos. The more you guys watch them, share them, the more I'm going to make them. Uh, simple as that. Anyways, as always, may the Lord bless you. May your almighty fine day. As always, ciao, bye.